Master Yi, Jarvin, Lee Sin, and Udyr is on the intro thing. Who would have thought? Anyways, here we are with Amumu. I'll tell you right now that uh, there's going to be a little bit of a bitch fest between, well, a slight bitch fest between me and the Karthus. I take his blues because he annoys me. There's a general rule I follow is that if uh, you don't come quick for their blue, I'm going to just take it. And then later on, I just don't want to give it to him, specifically him. Anyway, start off regrowth pen and health potion. Do give, I got a good leash, you know. Yeah, Mumu just tears through the jungle, no problem. His, you know, quote unquote, uh, sustained problems are myths. Like, in this new jungle, they're basically irrelevant. Okay, my runes and masteries. I have attack speed red, not because I say they're better or anything. It's because I didn't have the right runes equipped. Anyways, here I completely screw my Q. It doesn't go on, and it doesn't go well. Yes, that is support Lee Sin. I've actually seen it before, and it's actually worked out. Urgot's mid versus Karthus, for whatever reason, and there's a Teemo bottom. There's a Jax top. Anyways, runes, attack speed red, not by choice, armor yellow, magic resistance blues, and movement speed quince. Movement speed, I love it on characters like, uh, Amumu. Anyways, here comes the gank on Jax. To make up for failing so hard on the Q at bottom, I make a, you know, a nice Q here, a snare, uh, stun him, and we get a first blood. Yay! Celebration. Now for the masteries. 0, 21, 9. Yay! Alright, so, as you can see, Karthus is kind of getting his ass wrecked by Urgot, so he has to go home. Uh, the second blue is there, though, you know, press R as Karthus, you get kills anyways. Now, Jarvan catches me and I'm like, between two people, so I just use my Q to launch myself before I get caught. I'm like, I'm surprised Urgot didn't switch me back, he probably could have killed me. I mean, look at Karthus, he's got, Karthus can't help anybody. Karthus is, you know, mana screwed and everything. However, I'm level 6. This is pretty much an easy kill. Though the Karthus, with his lack of mana, is unable to actually do anything. Though his exhaust did help me get the kill. Jarvan arrives a little too late and misses Q, or I dodge, it doesn't matter. And I wreck Jarvan up a bit. Now, here's one thing with Amumu you gotta remember. As, oh well. His damage is over time, so as the fight goes on, he'll wreck people. Oh yeah, I should explain what happened here. J Jax went to ward bottom and check his blue and took it. So, knowing that he hasn't warded up top, I knew he would make his venture up there. So, I waited there to see if he, you know, if he go to the bush. If he go, I mean, if he go to the bush and ward there. If he did that, I'd go right at him. If he came to the tri-bush, I'd be able to surprise him, and that's what he did. Surprise him, and we ganked him. i go bottom just to relieve the pressure and collect some experience because uh, the range AD went home or died or something. Lee Sin seems to be working out, actually. And Timo, surprise, surprise, he gets caught. And this was, you know, miscommunication, as in no communication at all. And we kind of burned both our ultimates. Probably mine should have been the one used up because, you know, they're already having problems with Lee Sin, apparently, so they needed John Assault. Mid lane, Urgot dies, Jervin escapes, though I question why he had to use his flash. I don't think his cooldowns were way off there. But now that Jervin has no flash, he's pretty hurt and whatever, his red is just mine. I get to steal that. This time I give blue to Karthus, but this is not, you know, it hasn't gotten to the point where I get annoyed yet. Again, the second blue, I took it not because I wanted it. But because Karthus didn't come get it, and I'm like, screw this, I'm not waiting. So here comes again, Kajax. Warwick ults him, I wait till the, his ultimate is near near over, and then stun him. Just in case, you know, I don't want to cross up the stuns, and I don't want Jax to leap away. We, I want to deal the maximum amount of damage, just in case Jax got to live. Take more my red, get more experience, walk around. Urgot's mid. Like, uh, I don't think, I don't know if Urgot has any escapes, but he's screwed. My Karthus has blue. I'm here, Warwick is obviously coming, I blow blow my own because I just don't want him to escape, and, and he's killed. Another kill for us. Now, I'm building AP Amumu, because Tank Amumu is kind of obsolete now. Like, there's other versions that are kind of better, like Nautilus, and I would even say Sejuani, Sejuani uh, as a tank later, because her initiation is a lot, you know, more awesome. 
And you can't just John ult it away. Well, actually, I can't really say that. They got different purposes. Just saying there's a lot of other things that you can use instead of a Mumu and still function. Though I do feel a Mumu is underrated. I'm like, he's not as bad as everybody's making him out to be. But I do know he's a little bit, you know, pales to some of the new champions that's come out. I guess you can call that power creep. So, AP Mumu, he's basically a grenade. You know, in most cases, he'll die right after or, or, you know, after he uses his ultimate, if they focus him, he can die. If they ignore him, then you're going to do a lot of damage. You know, he's, you know, other ways, he's easier to kill. Uh, you use him as a grenade. Initiate in, blast your ult, hopefully you grabbed everybody, and then just start running around and hurting people before you drop, because you will drop really quickly. So, again, you're a grenade. You're an explosion. You're a mortar. You're a nuke. Right here, easy catch on just Lee Sin. I don't use my ultimate right away. I try to reposition myself to see if I can grab the Urgot. Because, you know, the stun on the Q was still there. I didn't need to use it immediately. There was no, you know, disadvantage here yet. So, I couldn't get Urgot, but okay. Didn't matter. I got Lee Sin. They're stealing my wraiths. Those dicks. Anyways, moving on. Get my red once more. Uh, top is you know there's nothing going on it's one of them games i know it's kind of a stompish thing but it's more just to show off a mumu like i want people to realize you know what a mumu isn't weak and this Q right there was just completely off on my part i'm gonna fail another Q right now too though it's by a slight miss i'm like e e this isn't low replay anything this is actually what happened in the real game this is why i slow it down it's like the Q is just like eh, just, eh. just yeah okay Moving on, team fight's about to occur. They jump the graves and they just start beating up on him. I snare the so the Lee Sin. We get trapped in there and I manage to get three people. That's a lot of good damage already being dealt to them. I get to just cry on top of them. And here comes the Karthus ult. Boom. Okay, two people were dead. They got magic resistance cut off. Graves ran the uh, the wrong way. He should have run towards you know the Karthus or stuck around with me. Uh. Urgot switches uh, switches positions with the Karthus. I drop as a result because you know I can't. Urgot's gonna get to live. I didn't get to kill anybody. Jana arrives to save Karthus. Sadly, she's gonna get her. Uh, she's gonna get killed off. Jax and Urgot is just too much damage. So she loses oracles and she loses her life. It wasn't a good trade off for us. So that's bad for us so far. But we still have a good lead. We have dragons and we have you know an advantage. Here's another sad part. I get I walk into Urga and this is just my death. Oh, and here comes Jarvan. They switch me and in a last attempt I try to snare the Baron, but I'll, I I'm off the mark and die. Oh boy, oh, that's a slingshot maneuver. Now they're starting to even in to even it out. And since they don't have one of those traditional supports, you know, sustain and all that good stuff, they don't have to worry about uh. They don't have to worry about lacking some damage. They've got a whole lot of power. Though I actually don't know the uh, the, the amount of CS they have. Here, I didn't even have to use my ultimate. Jax died. Oh, I didn't even need to land my Q. I missed it, though. It would have been a lot cooler if I hit it. Now, this is an easy way to initiate. Like uh, they've, I don't know if they had rewards here or anything, but that, that turret had needed one more shot. I don't know why we just didn't di dive. I don't even know why they, they, they stayed. This is like an easy, just walk up, you know, start killing them kind of deal. Urgot obviously is going to get killed. Jarvan's going to show up. He's going to miss and <laughs> not hit anything. So there's our victory. And there's, here's our bearing. Now, I'm building a, an hourglass, though. In retrospect, it probably should have been, it would have been better if I built something like Abyssal Spec, I mean, Abyssal Scepter or Rhylite Scepter, not uh, the hourglass. They like uh they don't seem to be wanting to focus me. They're focusing the other people. So I, the hourglass was honestly a waste. Uh, the scepter would have probably been a lot more useful. And I know there's a lot of low replay lag here. Forgive that. I can't help that. I I tried recording it a second time. Uh, I didn't help. So it's just something with a replay. Nonetheless. You know, I boggle my head up and down because that's what the Mumu does. And I kind of just don't do anything. Rod of Ages is kind of like the perfect item for AP and Mumu. Gives them mana, gives them everything. You can spam your abilities. And now here's a, here's a gank on Timu. And it fails by like a pixel or something. Wee -ah. 
Like even if I caught him, we probably wouldn't have killed him unless he blew my ult. And even then, it was no guarantee. So about a minute, no, two minutes left for this video, and I keep going through walls because that's how low replay is. Now here's one of my favorite things to do as a Mumu. Just if they don't leave, this mean uh, this would mean I can initiate on them. So I'm walking in slowly, trotting along, and I grab Jarvan. I probably would have grabbed anybody. If I grabbed someone of value, I could have ulted there and fought on the tower. But alas, I didn't grab anybody. So it's one of those back and forth things again. Now Graves is gonna go steal their red, and they're probably gonna. And I assume they knew that Graves wasn't with us, so they're gonna try to fight us. And they like uh they they're gonna c catch Karthus and they switch him in and I don't know why they would do that on Karthus so we counter initiate all hell breaks loose uh you know fighting under Karthus is AOE I got my ultimate I'm crying on them I I'm spamming my E just hurting them that was a really bad initiate on them though yeah they killed one of our teammates Karthus who cares. And he uses ultimate, blah blah blah. Everyone's dead. Eh. Now, I could upload another Mumu game, but they both kind of sucked.